Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to make bread. I love making bread. It's one of my favorite things to do. You want to go ahead and take about two tablespoons of yeast. I keep my yeast in the freezer so it lasts longer. I buy it bulk at Costco or anywhere that you can buy bulk yeast. Depends on how much you like to make. And then what I'm going to do with my yeast is I'm going to put some water in there. This is about a cup of water. I'm going to make it a full cup with some hot boiling water because you want it to be like lukewarm, a little warmer than lukewarm. And so I'm going to go ahead and whisk this in here with my yeast and get my yeast to dissolve. Now what activates the yeast is the honey. Honey, sugar, uh, monk fruit, whatever you prefer, maple syrup. Honey's always yummy though. My kids love the honey. So I'm going to get my honey in there. I would say probably about what, two tablespoons or so? You can see I'm not a measurer naturally. <laughs> I'm doing this for you. Whisk it in there. Get that yeast activated. That's it, just like that. Perfect. Can you see how it's foaming? See how it's foaming in the bowl? That's what you want. Let it sit for a couple minutes, let that yeast dissolve. And I'm gonna put my whisk right in my sink because I'm done with that, I'm done with my honey spoon. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to flour. You can use gluten-free flour. You can use spelt flour. You can use whatever kind of flour you prefer. Um, you can mix flours. I suggest you using one flour to begin with. And so once it has a nice bubble on there, these big bubbles that are occurring in there, can you see that? That's when I begin to start to add my flour. But I'm going to add a little bit more water first because I want to make... Um, enough bread here that's going to last for a while. So it's a two to one ratio. So one cup of water to two cups of flour. So right now in here I have a cup of flour, a cup of water. I'm going to make it a nice full two cups and then I'm going to go with four cups of flour. So I'm going to add my flour in gradually. Now you can add olive oil. Olive oil is really nice to put into bread, especially if you want it to be moist. When I'm doing the gluten-free flour, I always put olive oil. When I'm doing my regular um, wheat or spelt flour, I don't necessarily always put it in there um, because it does make it a little bit more dense. So here I am stirring up my four cups of flour in there. Going to get it in there really nice. And you can gradually add it, but because I'm just used to doing this, that's what I do is I just put it in there and then I start to knead it. And where you are and how you feel is how your bread's going to taste. So it's really important that you have a lot of good thoughts going on in your mind. No funky juju, lots of love, and give it a nice knead. Perfect. That's it, like that. You can knead it a little bit longer. And then what you want to do is you want to get out a second bowl if you have a second bowl. You don't necessarily have to do that. But um, I like to have a second bowl. And what I do is I get a little bit of olive oil in that bowl. Oh, about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I rub it in here. Now some people like to put salt in their bread. I don't usually put a lot of salt in any of my food. I do very, very little salt. Um, but you can certainly add salt. So once you've given it a nice knead and you feel like you've got good love in that bread and it's ready to rise up, you're gonna do just like that. Put that beautiful dough right into the bowl. This is the simplest bread you can make. Then you want to put it in the warmest part of your kitchen or even house. Tuck it into bed, give it some more love. Tuck it into bed, let it rise double, about 45 minutes. If you don't have time for this rise, you can always put it in the oven, 200, really low, let it rise up, 45 minutes. Then once it's ro rose up and it's nice and big, You'll take it and you'll begin to shape your loaves. So you can make a, we can make one loaf. It'll be twice this size, or you can make little buns with the children. Have fun. Enjoy making bread and enjoy eating it too.